Here's everything you will need to make the crafty cactus pillow. Some green worsted weight yarn. This is I Love This Yarn in the color Key Lime. A 4.0 or G millimeter crochet hook. This one is Clover More brand, which is my favorite hook brand to work with. A pair of scissors. These pretty things were gifted to me by Warm Crochet, and I think they are just gorgeous. A tapestry needle. This one is also Clover brand and is very handy to use. I will link all of these materials in the description below, and you will also need some polyfill to stuff your cactus pillow. We're going to start by making the front piece of our pillow. This is the side that will have the bobble stitches on it. We're going to start by making a slip knot. and chain 42. Now the pattern says to skip the chain closest to your hook and single crochet 40 in the back bump of the chain. So we're going to flip to find the back bump. We're going to flip our chain so we can see the back of it. And then these little horizontal Humps, that's going to be our back bump where we are going to put our single crochet stitches. We're going to skip the first one closest to our hook, insert our hook into the back bump of the next stitch, and that is where we're going to place our single crochet. And that's one. We're going to do that all the way down the chain until we have a total of 40 single crochets all the way down leaving our last chain unworked. You may notice that when I make my single crochets, I yarn under versus the traditional yarn over that you probably do, or most people do. This is just how I taught myself how to crochet. It has been said that it actually makes a tighter stitch because the single crochet is going to be a little bit twisted instead of, see how the, the two lines are kind of twisted? And then if you yarn over, like traditional crochet is done, I'll show you how that looks. Your stitches are not twisted, see the difference? For this pattern, it will not make a difference in the finished piece. The thing about this pattern is it doesn't have to fit. So if yours comes out a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, it's still gonna work as a cute cactus pillow. So it's no big deal. This is just faster for me. This is how I taught myself how to crochet. Sometimes I, I don't want my single crochets to be twisted, so I will crochet by yarning over, but it's, extra work for me. My hands just naturally want to yarn under, so that's what I do. If you yarn over, it will not affect the outcome of your finished cactus pillow. Just going to continue to single crochet back down the chain until I have 40 single crochet stitches total. Okay, I've made my 40 single crochet stitches, and now I have the last space here available and we're going to put six single crochet stitches all into that same space. So that's one, two, three, and we're just going to kind of work our way back around this side of our work. Four, five, six. Okay, I'll show you guys what that looks like. That's six single crochets in the last chain. And now we are going to be working on the opposite side of our chain, coming back down the other end for 40 more single crochets, one in each stitch all the way down. That will give us a total of 86 stitches in row one, and each row will be made, each row of the body will be made working up, around, and back down. And 
Okay, after we finish with our 40 single crochets or 86 single crochets total for the row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. I'll show you what we got so far. For row two, we're going to single crochet 40 stitches. So just one time in each stitch all the way down until we get to the, the tip of our cactus. Okay, after we get our 40 stitches and we are back here on the tip of our cactus, we are going to single crochet increase in each of the next six stitches. So if you remember from row one, we put six single crochets in the last chain. Now we're going to increase in each of those six stitches. So starting right here, and it increases just two single crochet stitches in the same space. So we're gonna put one and then right back in the same hole, two, and that's our first single crochet increase. We're gonna do that five more times. That's two, three, four, five, and six, and that it will get us back around to the other side of our work. And now we will finish out the row by single crocheting 40 stitches back down this side of our cactus pillow. Okay, after our last single crochet, I'm going to chain one and turn our work. This is what we have after row two. And now for row three, the pattern says to single crochet in the first stitch. So we're gonna put a single crochet right here and then put a bobble stitch in the next stitch. To do a bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do that three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Three. Four, there you go. One, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all five loops and that completes our bobble stitch. And now we're gonna go directly into this next space. We're not gonna chain one or anything like that. We're just going to go directly into the next space for our single crochet. And then we're gonna go back into a bobble. So this for this entire row, we're gonna go all the way around, single crochet, bobble crochet, single crochet, bobble crochet, all the way around, giving us a total of 92 stitches in the row. And it is going to end over here a little funny, which we will do that here together on camera. So I'm gonna get started with my next bobble stitch by yarning over, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. two, three, four, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, go directly into the next stitch for your single crochet, and then that gives us our bobbles on the front of our work. This is the front of our work, the right side, and I'm going to continue to do this all the way around. Just single crochet, bobble crochet, all the way around until I get to the other end. And then I will show you how we are gonna end the row. The bobble rows are ended a little funky because I don't want to end on a bobble stitch. So I will show you what we do when we get there. Okay, I've got my last three stitches left. and I'm completing a bobble stitch. 
and then we've got a single crochet stitch and then the last stitch should be a bobble stitch if we stuck with the the pattern that we've been following but we're just going to make this a single crochet stitch instead that way our row doesn't end on a bobble stitch and our pillow gets all wonky when we go to join it later I'm going to chain one and turn our work this is what we get after we finish row three this is the right side of our work now for row four we're going to single crochet 40 one time in the next 40 stitches so i'm going to go ahead and start doing that just putting making sure to put my first single crochet in that first stitch right up next to my chain and i'm going to single crochet 40 times 39 40 now we are back up to the point or the tip of our cactus pillow and we have to work our way back around to do this we are going to increase in the first stitch so two single crochet stitches right there in the first stitch that's one two and then we are going to single crochet in the next stitch and that will be our repeat we're going to do that six times so we've got five more to go Increase in the next stitch, one, two, and then single crochet in the next, that's two. Three. Four. Five, and last one increase and single crochet for six now we are all the way back around to the other side of our cactus pillow and we're going to end the row by single crocheting one time in the next 40 stitches giving us a total of 98 stitches in the row thirty-nine and forty and chain one and now we can see what we've got after row four for row five we are going to do what I like to call a grow row which just means we're going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around for a total of 98 stitches in the row so I call it a grow row because we are just growing our piece growing our cactus pillow we're not increasing, we're not decreasing, we're just growing it. So I'm going to do my grow row of 98 single crochet stitches all the way around, chain one and turn my work, and then we will come back and do row six. Ninety-eight, chain one and turn my work. This is what we have after the end of row five. Now we're going to do row six, which is another increase row. So we're going to start by single crocheting one time in each of the next 40 stitches, all the way up to our cactus tip. Okay, 40. Now we are back to our tip and we're going to do our increases to get around to the other side. For row six, we do our 40 stitches and then here comes the repeat. We're going to start with single crochets this time instead of the increase like we did last time. We're going to start by single crocheting in the next two spaces. So one, two, and then we're going to increase in the next space. So two stitches in the same space. And that's our repeat. We're going to do that for a total of six times. So five more to go. We're going to single crochet, single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. That's two. Single crochet, single crochet, increase in the next stitch. That's three. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. That's four single crochet, single crochet, increase, that's five, one more, single crochet, single crochet, 
increase for six. And that is what the tip of our cactus pillow is looking like. We're going to single crochet one time in each of the last 40 stitches in the row, giving us a total of 104 stitches total. And then we will chain one and turn our work and get ready for row seven, which is another bobble row. Okay, chain one and turn our work. For row seven, it says to single crochet in the first stitch right there. And then we're gonna start our repeat, which is single crochet in the next stitch, and then bobble crochet in the next stitch. We started with two single crochets this time instead of one. That way this row will end with one single crochet over here. And we had two single crochets right here. So our bobbles are gonna alternate a little bit but that looks better than having half of your bobbles up a little bit higher. This way it looks very intentional. So I am just going to single crochet and bobble stitch all the way around for 104 stitches to finish up row seven. Chain one and turn my work, and then we will come back for row eight. Coming up on my last two stitches. Finished my bobble stitch, and then I'm gonna put my single crochet stitch right there in that very last space. Chain one and turn my work. This is what we have so far after row seven of our Crafty Cactus Pillow. We're getting ready to start row eight, which is another increase row. We're gonna start by single crocheting one time in the next 40 stitches all the way down the right side of our cactus pillow. Then when we get to the point again, we will do our increase stitches and I will show you how we'll do that for row eight. Okay, after we do our 40 single crochet stitches and we are back up to our point of our cactus, we are going to increase in the first stitch and this will start our repeat for this row. And there is a hair in my pillow. Cute. Gotta love it when that happens. We're going to increase in our first stitch to start our repeat. And then we are going to single crochet one time in the next three stitches. Two, three, and that's one. We're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of six times. So increase in the next stitch, single crochet three. That's two, increase in the next stitch, single crochet three. That's three, increase, single crochet three. That's four, two more repeats, increase, single crochet three. And last one, increase, single crochet three. Now we are back around to the left side of our cactus pillow where we are just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down for 40 single crochets, giving us a total of 110 stitches in the row. Forty in chain one. Now let's take a look at our pillow so far. This is what we have after row eight. Row nine is just going to be another grow row. So we are just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around, again for a total of 110 stitches in the row. Then we will chain one and turn our work, 
and get ready for row 10, which is another increase row. So I will do row 9 here off camera and come back when it's time to start row 10. Finishing up on row 9 with my last two single crochets, giving me 110 stitches in the row. Chain 1 and turn my work. This is what we have so far after row 9, and we are getting ready to start row 10. For row 10, we are going to single crochet one time in the next 40 stitches down this side of the pillow, and that will bring us back to our tip where we will do our increase stitches. So starting over here in the first stitch closest to our chain, just going to single crochet one time in each of the next 40 stitches. After we finish our 40 single crochets and we are back up to the tip of our cactus, we're going to start our repeats. This time we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and then a single crochet increase in the next stitch. That's our repeat. Four single crochets and then a single crochet increase and then an increase. We're going to do that for a total of six times, so I've got four more to go. And after we do our six repeats, we are going to end with single crocheting 40 back down the left hand side of our cactus pillow. I will finish my 40 single crochets off camera. Then I will chain one and turn my work and get ready for row 11, which is another bobble row. Chain one and turn our work. For row 11, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch right here next to our chain up one. And then we're going to bobble stitch in the next stitch. We'll do that slowly one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, three, Four. Now you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops to finish your bobble stitch, then go directly into the next space for your single crochet. Continue all the way around with bobble stitch, single crochet, bobble stitch, single crochet, until you get back to the end of the row, and then we are going to end with single crochet, single crochet, to keep our to keep the bottom of our cactus even down there. So I will come back after I finish up this row and I will show you the two single crochets to end the row on the other side. And then we are almost done with the main body of the front piece of our cactus pillow. Okay, working on my last bobble stitch in this row. Now we've got two stitches left right there. We're just going to single crochet one time in each of those stitches. That way this will keep the bottom of our cactus pillow nice and even. Chain one and turn our work. Here is what we have so far on our cactus pillow. Well, the front piece anyway. Now we are going to do row 12. So we're going to start by single crocheting 40 up the right side of our cactus pillow, starting in that very first space next to our chain. I'm going to single crochet 40, and then we will come back for our increases. So let me do these 40 stitches, and I'll be right back.
Okay, after I finish my 40th single crochet, now we're going to start our increase, our repeats. For row 12, it says to increase in the next stitch. So this repeat is going to start with the increase this time. So two single crochet stitches in the same space. And then it says to single crochet in the next five stitches. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And that's one full of one full pass of our repeat. We're going to do that five more times. So we're going to increase in the next stitch. And single crochet in the next five stitches. That's two. We're going to increase in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next five stitches. That's three, single increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next five. That's four, two more to go. Increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next five stitches. One more to go, increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next five. Now we're going to finish up row 12 by single crocheting one time in each of the 40 stitches that are left. And that will give us a total of 122 stitches in the row chain one and turn our work and then row 13 is just another grow row so we're going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around for a total of 122 stitches in the row for row 13 i'm going to finish my 40 stitches here in row 12 and then i'm just going to go ahead and do row 13 off camera that there's no need for you to watch me do another grow row this far into the pattern. And then I will come back and we will work on our cactus arms. I just finished 122 stitches for row 13. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn and tie off on this side and get ready for the arms. We're gonna start with our right arm and the pattern says to attach your yarn in the 25th space from the bottom, so from the bottom right hand corner, the 25th space all the way up on the right side of the cactus. So I'm just going to come down here and count up 25 spaces. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and that's when I'm gonna insert my hook and join my yarn. To join your yarn, you're just going to grab your yarn, pull it through the 25th loop that we just counted up to, and then chain one. Now we're going to single crochet in the same, same stitch where we just joined. So I'm gonna put a single crochet right there in that same spot. And then I'm just gonna pull my tail back here to clean up my where I joined gonna zoom in a little bit. Now it says to single crochet three. So if we're gonna go on one, two, three. Now we have four single crochets on our arm so far and we are going to do something a little crazy and we're just gonna turn our work. We're not gonna chain up, we're just gonna turn our work. Now working back down the four stitches we just made, we're going to single crochet one time in each of those stitches. One, two, 
three and four. Now we are going to chain one and turn our work again. And this is what we have so far for our little arm. Now we're going to single crochet four again. So one, two, three, four. Now the pattern says, insert your hook back into the body of the cactus for your fifth single crochet. So we're gonna make a fifth single crochet, but we're gonna put it all the way back down here. So we're gonna put our hook all the way down here and make our fifth single crochet, keeping everything nice and tight. And then the pattern says to single crochet six more times for a total of 11 single crochets. So we've got four, five, and we're gonna do six more to give us a total of 11. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that is row one of our arm. And we do all this little extra bit down here to help the arm curve up. So row two of the arm, we're just going to single crochet 11, chain one and turn. But we are gonna chain one after this. So for a total of 11, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're just going to single crochet one time in each of the 11 stitches we just put for row one. So starting right here in the space closest to our chain. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Chain one and turn our work. For rows three through fourteen of our arm, we're just going to repeat one and two alternating back and forth between them. So for row three, we're going to repeat row one, which is our, our weird little extra row here. So we're gonna start by single crocheting four, one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna turn our work without chaining and go back up the four we just did with four more. One, two, three, four, and chain one. Then we're gonna turn our work again. And now we're gonna single crochet 11, but the fifth one is gonna go all the way down here into row two of our arm. One, two, three, Four, five's gonna be all the way down here. Make sure to keep everything nice and taut. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Chain one. Okay, just finished row three. We're gonna turn our work for row four. And that is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way down for a total of 11 single crochets in the row. Chain one and turn our work. So for rows five through 14, we're just gonna keep alternating back and forth between rows one and two. And our fifth stitch, the weird fifth stitch is gonna go in the, the last remaining space. So you won't go back into the body every time because that would be weird. So you're just gonna make your fifth stitch down into the previous row. So I'm going to go ahead and do rows five through 14 off camera, and then I will come back and we will do our decrease rows to shape our little cactus arm. Okay, I just finished row 14 of my cactus arm. 
and you can start to see it taking his shape over here. Now we are just going to do our few decrease rows so we can round him off a little bit. Um, for row 15, we are going to decrease, single crochet seven, and then decrease again for a total of nine stitches in the row. And I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet decrease for those of you who have never done one. Okay, we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, insert our hook directly into the next stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So essentially we are taking these two spaces and making just one space. Where there were two, now there is just one. Now it says to single crochet seven. After our first decrease, we're gonna single crochet seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we are going to decrease over these last two stitches down here on this end. So just like before, insert, grab, pull up a loop, Go directly into the next stitch, grab, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops for your decrease. That gives us nine stitches in that row. Chain one and turn your work. For row 16, we're going to decrease over the first two stitches. Single crochet five. Then decrease over the last two stitches, giving us a total of seven stitches in the row. Chain one and turn your work. We're going to decrease over the first two stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, Three, and then decrease in the last two stitches, giving us a total of five stitches in the row. Now you can cut your yarn and tie off. Let's take a look at our little cactus arm. Here is the right, finished right arm of the front piece of our cactus pillow. Now we are going to do the left arm, which is gonna be somewhere down here. And then we're going to make the back piece of our cactus pillow. Okay, the pattern says for the left arm, do the same thing as the right arm, but this time we're going to attach our yarn into the 14th chain from the bottom left corner. So I'm gonna count up 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that's where I'm going to join my yarn and chain one to secure it. So I'm going to go back and look at the right arm instructions again. And now it says to single crochet in the same chain where you just joined. Single crochet in that same spot where we just joined. And then the pattern says to single crochet three. So we got one, two, Three. That gives us four total single crochets so far. And now we are going to turn our work and go back down those four with four more. So I didn't chain or anything. I just turned my work. That's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain on this side and turn our work again. We're gonna single crochet back into those same four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna put our fifth single crochet back down here in th to the body and just kind of pull all of that down, leaving it nice and taut. Four, five, and then we're gonna keep going until we have 11 total single crochets in the row. Six, seven, eight, 
10, 11. That completes row one of our cactus arm. We're going to chain one and turn our work. For row two, we are going to single crochet one time in each of the 11 stitches for a total of 11. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to do row three with you guys, which is just repeating row one. And we are going to do this for rows three through fourteen. We're going to alternate back and forth between repeating rows one and two, and then we do our decrease rows just like with the other arm, but I'll do one more of the, the weird row here and then I will just let you guys do the rest off of what we did for the first arm. So we're going to do four single crochets, turn my work but don't chain or anything, just turn, four single crochets, now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now four single crochets again, one, two, three, four, and our fifth single crochet is going to go right here into the previous row. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, chain one, and turn our work. I will let you guys finish the rest of the arm by following the instructions from the right arm and then we will come back and assemble our crafty cactus pillow. I just finished the back piece of my cactus pillow and it is exactly like the front piece except for I left out the bobble stitches and just did all single crochet stitches instead. So the rows that normally would have the bobble stitches on the front piece when you're making the back piece you just make those rows grow rows where you single crochet in each stitch all the way around you don't do any increases and then um, that will give you this look you're welcome to do bobbles on the front and the back piece of the cactus I just feel like that's extra work and um, resources so if you're like trying to sell these you want to make it as least amount of work on yourself as possible so you can crank them out faster. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sew in my tails now for both the front and back pieces of my cactus pillow and then we will come back and assemble these guys together. Alrighty, I just finished sewing in all my tails. So now I have my back piece and my front piece ready to go and I'm going to start assembling them together. Right side facing out, wrong side up, and then your top piece, right side up, facing you. And so that means you can see the bobbles, and then make sure you've got your arms lined up in the right spots. And now we are going to join our yarn in the bottom right hand corner of our cactus pillow. So we're going to go down here. And that's where we're going to join our yarn. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch down here on the end. And then the first stitch on the back piece. The same stitch just on the back piece and the front piece. Grab my yarn and pull it through all those, both of those stitches. And then I'm going to chain one to secure it. Now we are just going to start single crocheting the front and back pieces together along this edge here, all the way around our whole cactus. And to do this, you're just gonna have to go into the same spaces on the front and back piece. So I'm going right back in to the two stitches where I just joined my yarn, and I'm gonna place my first single crochet there. Okay, and I'm just gonna continue to do this all the way around the whole border until I get to this corner, and then I will stuff my cactus pillow and then we'll close it up. It's really not that hard. You just gotta take your time and make sure that you're lining up the right stitches because if you get a little ahead of yourself on one side and 
a little behind on the other side, your cactus will get wonky and you will have to pull it all out and start again, which is okay if you have to do that because trust me, I have done it my share of times. But keep single crocheting the front and back pieces together. And then, um, so this first little stretch here is really simple because you can see the actual stitches. Once we get up here on our arm, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because we have to make our own spots for our hook to go since that is the raw edge of our work. And I will do that when we get up there. This gives the cactus pillow a really clean edge. Okay, I'm up to my cactus's little armpit here after the stitch right before it. Now this one is gonna go into the stitch that this first little guy is coming out of. So I'm gonna go right into that stitch and then do the same one on the other side, right into the stitch where the yarn is, the arm is coming out of. I'm gonna place a single crochet there. And then I'm go now we get to where we make up our own spots. And it's totally fine. You just gotta keep your arms lined up together so they don't get run off and leave the other one behind or something. Okay. It's a little finicky making up your own spots. This part is probably the part that takes the longest, but at least it's just around the arms and the rest of the body you have actual holes or stitches that you can go into. I'm going to single crochet, my goodness, now split my yarn, all the way around until I get to the bottom left hand corner of my cactus pillow. And then we will stuff our guy and then we will close him up the rest of the way so in our last tails, and he will be good to go. I'm back. I had to jump back on really quick because I wanted to show you I am almost to the corner of my first arm. So I haven't gotten very far since I left, but I'm almost to the corner, and I'll know when I get there because it will be an actual stitch space and not the raw like I'm doing right now. But I wanted to show you how I go in the corners. Okay, so now we're back up and this, this is the stitch that I'm gonna go into. This one and this one right here behind it. It's the first stitch right there in the corner arm of my cactus pillow. I'm going to put two single crochets in that same spot. And that will just kind of help me to round my corners nicely, nice and clean. And then you'll, you'll be able to see See how nice that looks? So I will do that again when I get to this corner right here. I will put two single crochet stitches in that one to round it out. And then um, again over here on these arms and down here on these corners as well. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly while I was doing it. Now I am going to single crochet all the way around the pillow for sure this time and I will come back when it's time to stuff. Okay, my cactus is completely assembled all the way around except for the little bottom here, and I did already put two single crochets in this corner, and I will end by putting my second single crochet in this corner. I put two in each corner around the arms, and they are nice and rounded, and I have a 10 pound box of polyfill over here next to me. If you plan on selling your finished pillows, which I highly encourage, um, buying your stuffing in bulk like that will save you some money and then you will always have some on hand when you get a, a pillow order. I think this box is like $24 at Walmart for 10 pounds of polyfill. So I'm going to start by putting some polyfill in these arms here. I have learned that if you separate out your polyfill before you stuff your amigurumis, um, it will help it disperse even -lier, more even. Um, if that's something you want to take the time to do, I know it's a little time 
intensive when you're making a whole pillow versus a tiny little amigurumi, but that's just a little tip if you did want to. It helps your finished piece not be so lumpy. So I'm just gonna start kind of pushing it into this little arm over here. And you want it to be f full and like firm, but not to the point where you are stretching out your stitches and you can see between, because it does get a little gappy where we did our creative stitching to curve our arms here. So you don't want it to be like so tight that it separates out all your stitches, but you want it to be pretty firm. And after I get my arms stuffed, then I will move on to the body. Okay, so this guy's done. Now I'm gonna do this arm and then the body and then we're going to single crochet up the bottom of our cactus. And this is gonna be back in the raw side of our work. So a little bit more tedious than it is when you are in actual stitches. It's really not bad. If you end up really liking this cactus pillow pattern, I have a rainbow pillow pattern that's already free on my blog that I released last year around this time for St. Patty's Day. And I have a pineapple pillow on my in my Etsy shop that's a, currently a paid only pattern at the time that this video is being recorded. It's, it will be free eventually. All of them will be free eventually. It just might take me a couple years to get to it. But I love making pillows because they don't have to fit. And they're just really super cute little pops of personality inside the core. And I really like that. Okay, about got this arm stuffed. And then we're gonna go for the body, which is easier than the arms. I'm gonna finish stuffing this body of my cactus pillow and then when I come back, we will seam up the bottom. Alrighty, my little cactus is fully stuffed now and he's got his little exposed bum down here. We're getting ready to close that up here together. Back with my G hook and I'm going to try to film this on camera. Um, it's not gonna be super easy, but bear with me. I'm going to try. And I do have some stuffing here at the ready if I get a little bit more space once I start to close it because it's a little it's a little loose down here. So I'm going to go back into my finished, my loop over here that I left up. And I've already put two single crochets in the corner. So I'm gonna start moving down the body now, lining up my stitches, even though I'm making my own spots because it's the raw edge of my work and single crocheting all the way down. Trying to keep checking back and making sure it's looking good on camera for you guys. I'm very close to my camera. And by camera, I mean iPad, because that's what I film on. I'm really close to it. Okay, and I'm just going to do this all the way down until he is closed off. And then I will, once I get about halfway across, I may add some more stuffing if he needs it. And my last stitch will go into my first corner where I joined my yarn originally. I'm gonna do the rest of this really quick and then I'll come back when he's all done and show him, show him in his complete state with for you guys. Okay, just snipped my yarn, getting ready to tie off, but I wanted to do it on camera just in case somebody didn't know how to do that. So I put my last single crochet, join into the top of the first single crochet, and tie off. Now all I have left to do is sew in my two tails. But after I sew in these two tails, this guy will be completely done. I will be making and attaching the flower. I forgot about the flower, so we will do that. I will make my flower off camera and then attach it here on camera for you guys. The flower pattern that I use is from Be Hooked Crochet and I will link it in the description. So I'm gonna go make my flower and then I'll
All right, I am back. I have finished my popcorn flower pattern by Be Hooked Crochet, which is linked in the description. And just for reference, I used my H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook to make this guy. Now I'm going to attach it to my cactus pillow here on video, just for anyone who has never attached a crocheted piece onto a crocheted piece. And I'm using this tapestry needle. Let's first, we gotta pick out where we want our little flower to go. So I'm going to put it on this side because I feel like it needs it where the arm is way down low. So that's where I'm going to stick it. And a good thing about these two is that it doesn't have to be in a specific exact spot because it's a cactus and they're wild and their flowers are wild and that's totally fine. So I'm going to just put my tail behind this bobble over here so it's kind of like hidden and um, if it that way if it's a little messy you won't be able to see it because that bobble will hide it nicely for me and then I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what's happening I am going to go into the body of my cactus I've already threaded my flower tail onto my tapestry needle into the body of my cactus and then up into the flower and pull through and I think this is called a whip stitch this is what I call a whip stitch I don't know if that's actually the correct term it's very hard for me to do this on camera into the body of my pillow and then into the stitch of my flower and pull through and I'm just gonna do that all the way around kind of adjusting my flower in the way that I want it to be adjusted as I go. After each couple of stitches, I will give it a little, cause see, I could still, see what I'm talking about? If, oh, sorry. <laughs> I could adjust it, I could go like this, I could keep it over here, but I'm just going to adjust it as I go. Now this one is gonna go into the bobble stitch, it looks like, which that's totally fine. So into the bobble and then into the flower. Pull it tight and just keep doing this all the way around until my flower is completely sewn on. Then I will sew in my tail and it will be officially, officially finished. Flowers are totally optional too. He looks pretty cute without a flower. So that's up to you as the maker. But I will finish this off camera and then show you some pretty pictures of it completed so you can see the full effect because I don't really have enough room on camera anyway to show you the full guy so I will we'll be right back and I will do my exit talking while showing you beautiful pictures of this finished completed crafty cactus pillow and here she is, my finished Crafty Cactus pillow. Um, I'm not gonna go through my whole exit spiel because this video is already almost an hour long, but I did want to let you know that for those of you who do plan on selling your finished pillows, I have a freebie for you. You can sign up to my email list and receive my Crafty Cactus Pillow Selling Tips PDF, and it gives you three marketing ideas that include um, keywords for each idea and photography tips for each idea. So if you plan on selling your Crafty Cactus Pillows, you might find these selling tips helpful, and I will put the link where you can sign up for my email list and download your selling tips below. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I know this video is super long. Um, I hope you enjoy the pattern, and I can't wait to see your Crafty Cactus Pillows. Till next time, bye.